Hey yo, what up YouTube? This your boy Psycho Drug a little saying whoop whoop to the hatch fam. What's up everybody else? Welcome back to the Sound of My Emix. Alright, so I was just sitting here watching a video by Sydney Watson. I don't know if y'all know who she is. She's a great YouTuber. Uh she I believe is from Australia. And um Yeah. Well, she's doing a video about white tears. Let me ask you a question. Why is it every time one of these uh, moron POCs wants to talk about white people or what white people are supposedly doing, it's always preference with white tears or white guilt or white this and white that. Shut up. Period. Color of your skin has nothing to do with anything. You want to know why black people are kept down? It's because they keep voting for these fucking Democrats who are keeping them down. You want to know why black people are still in the fucking ghetto? It's because of these Democrats who put them on welfare, told them they couldn't do shit, drove the black father out of the house. And it happens in white, co white, in white communities too. You know, in order for white people or white women to correct welfare, daddy has to be out of the house. So, yeah, it's been a trap since the beginning. It was supposed to help. All it did was destroy shit. We have a bunch of kids out here in prisons and shit. Because there's no dad to take care of them. There was no dad in the house to take care of dad. So, of course, dad's not around. I, I, I speak for this for, from experience. My dad's parents weren't there. Well, actually, his mom was there. But that's a whole other story that I'm not getting into. Anyway, so he was pretty much raised by his grandparents. My dad wasn't there. I was pretty much raised by my grandmother. My dad went in and out of prison. I've been in and out of jail. You know, so it's a cycle. And it will not end until the Democrat Party is destroyed. They are a bunch of communists. They have nothing but communist agendas. And uh, let's talk about redistribution of school supplies in public schools. Yeah, I get that... Uh, Parents sometimes can't afford the school supplies. Well, first of all, when I was in school, guess what? The school supplied everything. So why can't they still do that? Oh. It's because now they require shit that doesn't even fucking matter. Because their higher-ups wanted raises. So now the parents are footing the bill. It's complete bullshit. And then what happens when the parents foot the bill? The ones who can't afford shit. Well, when the kids come to school with things that their parents bought specifically for them, it's all taken and redistributed. That is a communist agenda. That is a communist practice. So, from a young age, our children are being taught communism. It's kind of messed up, isn't it? Well, let's see, where else can we go with this? Liberal professors, can I ask you a question? Why? Why is there a liberal arts degree? What is liberal arts? It's useless. Gender studies, completely useless. Women's studies, completely useless. College, completely useless. Unless you're going into something like STEM or, you know, something like that. It does take a lot of knowledge. Other than that, most jobs these days, you get basic knowledge and you can do them. College is nothing but a way to put you into debt. Anyway, it's also nothing but an indoctrination center to turn your 
you know, young adults communist if the school hasn't done it already. Yeah, this uh, equal or equity. No. Equality, yes. Equality of opportunity. Equality under the law. That's all there. What they want is equity, which is an equal outcome. Doesn't work. Never has. No. I'm tired of all of it. I am. I'm tired of these transgender morons. At least the radical ones who want to push their agenda on everybody. I am so sick and tired of these LGBTQ commie teachers. Parents, if you find out your teachers teaching your children this shit, pull your kid. Get them out of that class. Vet your child's teacher. If there are pride flags in class, demand they be taken down. If there are communist flags or pictures of Karl Marx or anybody, demand they be taken down. If they are not, take them down yourself. Walk in the classroom and rip that shit off the wall. Now, there's a lot of things going wrong in the world. Our president is a complete fuck up. He's on the take. He's in China and Russia's pocket. All that money Hunter got from them, what do you think it was for? It's bullshit. The president needs to be jailed. Kamala Harris needs to be jailed for the atrocities that she pulled on the fucking innocent people of California by holding them in jail longer, using them as slave labor. Yeah, you belong in jail too. And Miss Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Bitch, you definitely belong in jail for insider trading. And don't try to say you don't know nothing about your husband's fucking... Yeah, fuck you. You're a traitor. All of you. Now, climate change. Shut the fuck up, you morons. The only climate change that's happening is natural. The Earth is a living, breathing organism. So it has a defense system. We are being erased by the earth so it can heal and rebuild itself. That's what it does. It's done in many, many millennia. Or for your religious people, however fucking, whenever creation was supposed to happen, y'all need to shut the fuck up about that too. All you're spitting is a bunch of myths. There's no proof of any of it. You are blindly following bullshit. Now, <sighs> I'm, I'm just ranting right now. I'm upset at the state of our world. I'm upset at the bullshit that is happening. I'm upset that the American people are allowing these fucking communist mobs to rule and dictate what we do in our country. I'm sick of these fucking immigrants coming to our country and not assimilating. You're coming to a new country. Assimilate. Leave your bullshit in your own fucking country. I don't care where you're from. This is America. Live like it. I don't give a fuck what freedom you have. Freedom of religion, freedom of thinking. Yeah, you have that freedom, but guess what? I don't fucking care. You came to America for a reason. To get away from the bullshit in your country. Well, guess what? 
leave it there. Leave your traditions there. Leave your fucking everything there. Assimilate. <sighs> yes, I may sound harsh. Guess what? I am. I'm not apologetic about it. I don't give one flying fuck what any of you think or have to say. If you don't agree with me, find another channel to watch. If you're going to talk shit in the comments, <laughs> you're wasting your breath. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm tired of it. Completely. Inflation is so bad. People are going to die because they can't get their medicines. People are going to die because they can't afford food. But all these wealthy elites, oh, they're going to be just fine. The government is keeping farmers from producing food. They shut down our oil industry to cripple our energy independence. Why? For some renewable green energy that will not work. It's all ridiculous. It's all by design. This has been happening since about the 1940s or so. They used to call it the New World Order. Now they call it the Liberal World Order. Now let me explain something about your World Order. Number one, you played yourself. You played your hand way too quick. See, you forgot one very vital step. You forgot to disarm the American people. And I'll guarantee you, if you try it, the only way you're going to get these guns is out of their cold, dead hands. You will receive the bullets first. There will be blood in the streets. No, actually, I don't know this. This is my speculation. Take it for what it's worth. But this is what I see coming. I see our government being tyrannical. I see them pushing us towards communism. And that right there is why the Second Amendment exists. Wake up, America. You've been had. You've been lied to. We had the best four years of our life with Donald Trump. And you little pussy ass snowflakes couldn't handle some mean tweets. So you voted him out. Now look where we're at. Hope you're happy. <laughs> anyway. So this video for Sydney, I was watching it and I got to a part where this dumb black bitch who's fucking constantly on TikTok spouting this fucking anti-white rhetoric. First of all, you're a racist cunt. Second of all, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you talk shit about white people, you're fucking racist. Racism works in all colors, not just white, and it has nothing to do with power. That's you dumb motherfuckers trying to rewrite the uh, definition. Just like you tried to do it with fascism. You're all stupid. 
You left us? Your days are numbered. First? Nah, I'm not even going to tell you. But you left us are numbered. You're going to hell. You have been marked with the number of the beast, and Jesus will send you to the lake of fire. Oh, by the way, I am not religious, and I have no idea why I'm spouting this bullshit. Somebody told it to me the other day. Um, my thoughts are this, and take it at face value. Kill them all, let whatever god they fucking pray to sort them out. We need a political cleansing. We do not need an ethnic cleansing. We do not need a race war. We do not need any more separation in this country. What we need is a political cleansing. If you have any type of Antifa, Nazi, uh, Commune, any type of tattoos like that, we're either going to, one, throw you in prison for the rest of your life, two, kill you, or three, send you to whatever country that you have the tattoo of, and leave you there. You no longer deserve to be Americans. And y'all can pitch me in the comments all you want. I don't fucking care. I am a proud American. I would have served my country if they would have let me. However, my diabetes stopped that. Anyway. Yeah. I would have gladly slaughtered our enemies. For fun. <laughs> Human life means absolutely nothing to a person like me. <clears throat> it means nothing. There are only a few humans in my life they mean anything to me. And I can count them on my fingers and toes. If you're my friend on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, yeah, I know who you are. I know of you. I don't know shit about you. Except what you post on IG or wherever. So, basically, your life means actually Shit to me. Human life means shit to me. I care more about my dogs. My dog can make me cry before a human can. So, yeah. This is a basic rant. I'm tired of you fucking Black Lives Matter, Black Power fucking dumb niggers out here spitting this stupid bullshit about how white people held you down for so fucking long. White people didn't hold you down for shit. And the white people that did are the ones you keep voting in office, morons. Lyndon B. Johnson said, I'll have these niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. And apparently he was right. So, if you want to stay on that slave plantation, be my guest. But shut the fuck up about it. And shut the fuck up about the history of whatever happened. It's not happening now. Get over it. And no, none of that pain fucking means anything for you. And by the way, what you know of slavery from the movie Roots 
is bullshit. You were sold by your own. You were enslaved by your own. White people never set foot into the jungles of Africa. They went to the shore mouth, bought their slaves, and left. That was it. So, um, miss me with your fucking bullshit. Slave trade was started by you. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm over this bullshit. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to sit back and watch the world burn. Because you idiots are too fucking dumb to understand what the fuck you've done. Y'all need to be glad I can't own a gun. I'm a convicted felon. I can't have a gun. I don't break the law anymore. I haven't broken the law in nine or 15 years. So, yeah. But yet, I still don't have the right to protect myself. Interesting, isn't it? And that's not a federal thing. And the federal government has said nothing about a felon owning a gun. That's a state thing. And if you want to argue with me about it, please check Google in your Constitution. There's nothing in the Constitution that has been amended to say that a convicted felon cannot own a firearm. And by the way, if you want to know the three people responsible for that, that would be John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, and that fucking peace-loving motherfucker that you love to praise, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. By the way, you know he traded, he fucking set your race up. He set you up for failure so fucking bad. You dumb motherfucker should have followed Malcolm X. <laughs> anyway. I just, I can't believe how stupid the fucking left side of the black community is. If you're conservative black, I have nothing to love for you. Y'all know what's up. You know the, you know the deal. You know the score. But these morons that are still on that blue plantation, <laughs> I'm laughing at all of you. Bitching about slavery, not realizing you're still a slave. <laughs> uh, it's been your boy, Psycho Juggalo, saying, Whoa, whoa, to the action fam. Much clown love, much love, everybody else. Lights out, me silent, my inmates. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Same Psycho site, same Psycho channel. And, uh, Fuck the United States government and BLM. <laughs>